Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here from Harker Leatherworks. I'm taking a look at Jim Green's Ranger boot today. Now this is their latest offering. It was announced a couple months back, came out a couple weeks ago. I've taken these on some hikes, done some yard work, and these are phenomenal. So far I haven't had any sort of break in or discomfort wearing these. These were super comfortable right out of the box. And I think that's sort of what Jim Green was going for when they made these boots. They made these for the rangers in South Africa that work in the, um, in the bush. And they walk a lot. So they, want, they wanted a boot that was lightweight, durable, but also um, comfortable. And I really think they've hit the nail on the head with this release. So it's got a cap toe, which is kind of interesting for Jim Green. Uh, to my knowledge, this is their first cap toe on a boot. It's got a wedge sole, uh, three eyelets and two speed hooks, a gusseted tongue. It is unlined. Actually, the majority of this boot is going to be unlined. The uh, ankle has some padding here. Very comfortable. Again, there's uh, Mr. Jim Green there, our frog. And with this wedge sole, um, it is a pretty soft compound, which really lends itself to comfort. Uh, this really isn't going to be suited for concrete because it's just going to chew straight through it. Um, if I had to compare it to another outsole, I'd say it's kind of similar to Vibram's Christie sole. Again, very comfortable. It's got a insole here. Uh, looks to be like their yellow calf leather. This isn't removable. It actually seems to be glued into place, and I think that's because it's actually more of a structured insole. Um, this does have arch support, which is very nice. It's actually one of the reasons it's so comfortable. Now, it is uh, stitched down construction, just like all of Jim Green's boots. They do a double stitch along the upper here, or I guess welt, technically. I don't really know what the correct term is for stitch down. So that's the upper, which is just rolled and then stitched down. And so this is stitched down to the midsole material, which is like a, a very high density fiberboard. Uh, very hard wearing material. Haven't had any issues with any of my other Jim Green boots, so I think this is going to be fine. Now, um, with this, it's going to be super easy to resole. If you happen to wear through the outsole here, you can just peel it off, bring it to a cobbler, and then they can pop on a new one. And um, I think that sort of concludes my thoughts about this boot. Again, ridiculously comfortable. Um, one last thing, the leather on this is very nice. In fact, it's notably nicer than their other boots. Like, I've got my Razorbacks here. <laughs> I'll just push these out of the way. Uh, these are a couple years old, same exact leather but um, seems to be a lesser grade. Um, it's just got more of a drier hand feel, not quite as plush or luxurious, whereas these feel fantastic, especially considering the price point that these are set at. These are $180, and again, these are ridiculous value. I would definitely check these out if you have the chance. Thanks, guys.